Hey guys, Dan Long here and welcome back to Our Remote Spanish Part 101 His channel, yeah <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Yeah Okay, so today we are going to review Sharks vs. Pots and Coffee Bob Dado Pants Episode 198, alright? Yeah <laughs> Alright, so um, Download One is here again If you haven't checked out episode 196 Episode review Link in the description box below The link to Download One's channel is also in the description box below but we have to move on because we've got a lot of good stuff to talk about. Yep, not like the previous one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, um, yeah. Just if you haven't watched the previous video, go watch it. I mean, what are your thoughts on uh, episode one hundred ninety six? We had some not so. F I mean, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't really think that episode one hundred ninety six was that amazing. So, but that is a discussion for episode one hundred ninety six. Click the link below, guys. <laughs> okay, right. let's move on. <laughs> so, um, let's start with Sharks vs. Pod. So, SpongeBob uh, is cleaning up the Krusty Krab after hours, and a group of sharks named the Sharks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the real the group is named the Sharks. Pull up, see the Krusty Krab clothes, but notice SpongeBob and his uh, I and don't his know. dancing. He's bad to the bone. <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. But I, I don't really think SpongeBob was dancing. Bad to the bone. But it was still pretty cool. So, um, what? well, they offer to have him join their group. So SpongeBob, wow. like, it's like I love making new friends. And it's like, um, yeah, SpongeBob was trying to be cool. What did he say to, uh, Shark Face? Uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> so, anyways, they drive off into the night and they pass by, uh. Uh, some girls who like scream it's the sharks and they faint and after that following that fruit vendor throws all the fruit at them and uh, cowers in fear and then um, at a club a uh, howlin marlin I like that name though yeah, <laughs> it kind of reminds me of finding Nemo <gasps> yeah yeah and it's like find my son it's the only club it's not the only club in the ocean and then they zoom out and there's like there's nothing else <laughs> <laughs> which I think was pretty smart but um they're also introducing uh, the pods essentially cephalopods um mm -hmm. who are essentially also the sharks rivals and, and who is their leader? leader? well we'll find out <gasps> I mean of course if you already know the episode then yeah it's, you should know but uh we'll get there okay we'll get there um so, uh, yeah, they schedule a showdown at the playground. There are so many playgrounds in Bikini Bottom, I don't even know which playground is that, but it seemed like it was the, you know, the one in Gary in Love in yep. Season 7. I think it was the one. The snow, the snow playground or snow park, whatever you call it. Uh, but yeah, um, anyways, they, SpongeBob has no choice but to fight, fight. He thinks he's gonna fight in the showdown, so he has to get prepared. And that's especially reinforced when he thinks Gary has been kidnapped. Thinks is the keyword. I, I think I think we should put like some horrifying sound effect right here. But okay, dun, anyway. Dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, that's what I was thinking about. Okay. Um. Anyways, he gets to the showdown. Turns out it wasn't a fighting showdown after it was all. It a dance showdown. And oh. the the girls scream and faint all the time. And the fruit vendor is a health nut. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like st it keeps you regular, right? Okay, and uh, Johnny uh, tore up the floor real bad in Holland Marlin, so that's why they were banned from the Holland Marlin, right? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so turns out everything's fine. Gary was their DJ. Yay. And turn who knew that Gary could be a DJ? I mean, if, actually, if you remember, oh, what, Gary oh, was what? used as a record player in Earworm. Yep. So, I mean, Gary is like... And your shoes are tight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, like the most multi-purpose pet ever. And so skilled. So skilled. Yeah. Right, so, yeah. Um, anyway, who was the leader? <laughs> oh, the pods. Yeah. Had Squidward as a leader. <laughs> so uh, yeah, SpongeBob didn't want to fight Squidward, but yeah, it turns out they didn't have to fight at all. So great stuff. They danced, not really danced, in my opinion. Rock and roll. Yeah, but um, then after that, the cops came. 
and then the internal affairs and I was like nobody can beat the inter the internal affairs and then Spongebob did his uh rock and roll <laughs> no the kung fu rock oh yeah oh the yeah kung fu rock uh party style thingy yeah. <laughs> which is pretty nice and um actually this bore a little bit of inspiration from company picnic you know when Spongebob jumped up and it's like best company picnic ever and this one is like uh Everyone's a winner, yay! And after that, they all jump up, as you can see on the screen right now. <laughs> yeah, but and it's like school's like I didn't win anything, but obviously they saved the rec center, and that was like a totally random point. But still, I really enjoyed this episode. Mm -hmm. The entire idea, I mean, I had like I really did not n know what was gonna happen when I was watching this video. So I think that this episode was very well put together. And when I go back and look at the clues, it's all there. <laughs> okay, so what do you have to say? It's a five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I I, I will I'll right off. give it a four point five. Oh man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because in my opinion, so it still beats this, but still really excellent episode. I really enjoyed it. Right. So, oh by the way, this episode aired uh, May fourth, twenty fifth, uh, twenty sixteen. Excuse me. So um yeah, I'll give it a four point five. Download one. Five. <laughs> okay, so next up we have Copy Bob Ditto Pants. Double and, Dipper. Uh, this episode was released May 5th, 2016. Why did I keep saying 2015? I'm so stuck in 2015. <laughs> okay. You need to move on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, May 5th, 2016. This episode is essentially SpongeBob being cloned by Plankton to steal the secret formula, and Donald One is gonna explain it. Explain. <laughs> yeah, how the photocopy machine cop uh, photocopied SpongeBob into clones, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, yeah. So Plankton invites SpongeBob over for a party, but the real idea was to copy SpongeBob in the photocopy machine. Pretty a bunch of clones. He fails because he does not realize that the ties were white. Uh. And <laughs> yeah, yes, and um, they would automatically no lose their loyalty to Plankton once they met the real original Sponge. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I really like the Star Wars part. You know, the the the, the Legion of Bobs. Oh yeah. Bits <laughs> Creek of Bobs. You know those entire army of Spongebobs walking in the Krusty Krab. I think that was really hilarious. And of course, the side story was Squidward thinking that he was dreaming. Which was dumb. <laughs> and like, you know when he kicked the, 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 the drink cup off the ledge of his boat? It floated because of the little propeller <laughs> head. <laughs> yeah, that a kid was a kid was standing there with a little propeller head. So, yeah. Yeah. Don't think you're dreaming when you're actually working, frankly. Pinch yourself. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, Squidward didn't even pinch himself. Yeah, okay, but anyways, uh, overall, uh, I found it pretty hilarious, and uh, Plankton obviously failed because he used cheap toner. Ooh, he learned the lesson from Mr. Krabs. <laughs> yeah, he was cheap. And, and, and all the more, when Mr. Krabs split, it up, split the paycheck up into 300, different paychecks, he actually said that Mr. Krabs was cheap. <laughs> oh, Whoa! Oh, yeah. Oh okay. my gosh! Irony overdose! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, okay, so anyways, um, overall, I still liked uh, the episode. Very decent. I'll give it a 4.5 as well. Yeah, I'll give it a 4.5 as well. I mean, I kind of felt sad for Plankton over here. He was yeah. squashed, unfortunately, not by the person who he was trying to waste the time off, I guess. <laughs> yeah, he was squashed by Squidward, who was attempting to fly like a plane. Obviously, yeah, obviously. squids cannot fly. <laughs> Unless that's... they fly in a seaplane or something. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the only way. Alright, so overall, very decent episode. Definitely go check episode 198 out. And... <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, but okay, so let's see what Donald One has to say. I, I already said everything I need to say. <laughs> okay, so that's about it for this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. Keep it right here on Anonymous 1.1. Go check out Donald One. 
link in the description box below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.